A group of students is suing Denver Public Schools after the district filed a trademark the name of their podcast. Denver 7's Megan Lopez spoke with the students about this lawsuit. Black Lives Matter! It started with protests two years ago. A social justice movement that sparked an idea for a group of Denver Public School students. An idea to create a podcast. This pandemic has drastically and disproportionately affected our black and brown communities. The students called it No Justice, No Peace. And ever since then, they've been recording regular episodes. The podcast was like... A really big passion for me. And their work has taken off, leading to national attention and even awards. It's just kept building on and I feel like it really shaped who we are today. But this school year, when the students wanted to start recording again, they say DPS blocked them and tried to trademark their podcast as its property. It was a legal document. It was addressed to our former principal, but saying that she has to cease and, de and desist the use of the No Justice, No Peace. It's just hurtful. And just to see him like snatch it away, that feeling, I was like, like kind of set back. Their lawyer Jeffrey Cass has now filed a lawsuit against DPS over that trademark. The Denver public school system has chosen not to support their students. The students did record the podcast on school property using school equipment, but Cass says the idea and the work was theirs. We should be standing in awe of these teenagers rather than um, than suppressing them. No other student deserves to have to fight as much as we do. But the students say they're willing to fight as long as it takes. It's just so ironic that as a district, you claim to care about student diversity, you declare to care about racial diversity, you claim to care about um, just in general us as students, and then you turn around and try to silence us. They still want to keep recording their stories from their vantage points, but it will be up to the courts to decide who owns the rights to that podcast. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. In a statement to Denver 7, DPS said it looks forward to the legal process and clearing up any misinformation that's in the complaint. It says serving more than 90,000 students, DPS must maintain the integrity of our educational programs and intellectual property. It goes on to say it's unfortunate that Mr. Cass has misrepresented the facts and law in an attempt to push the narrative that DPS did anything other than assert its rights through the legal process.